In this lecture, we will discuss the chopper controlled DC motor drives. This comes under the module 3. First of all, we will have a brief discussion on the chopper circuits. It's, it will be a revision. The chopper circuits are DC DC converters and they are used either to step up or step down DC power. They can change fixed DC power to variable DC power and the DC power supplied to the loads can be adjusted to the required amount. This is our syllabus. In our syllabus we will have to discuss the chopper controlled DC motor drives, analysis of single quadrant chopper drives, regenerative braking control, two quadrant chopper drives and four quadrant chopper drives. Among this we have to discuss the single quadrant choppers, two quadrant choppers and four quadrant choppers. Now we will have a discussion on which are the different types of chopper circuits. The classification of choppers. The classification is done according to the quadrants of operation. So the choppers are categorized as type A chopper which works in the first quadrant only that means it is a single quadrant chopper. It is known as the step down chopper. Next type B chopper which works in the second quadrant only. So it is also a single quadrant chopper. It is a step up chopper. Next is type C chopper. It is a two quadrant chopper which can operate in first and second quadrants because it is a combination of type A and type B choppers. Next type D chopper which is also a two quadrant chopper which can operate in first and fourth quadrants. Next type E chopper it is a four quadrant chopper. So here we have two single quadrant choppers two two quadrant choppers and one four quadrant chopper. Next we will discuss the analysis of single quadrant chopper drives. The single quadrant choppers are type A and type B choppers. Type A is operating in first quadrant and type B can operate in second quadrant. First we will discuss type A chopper fed separately excited DC motor. Type A chopper is a step down chopper and it can operate only in quadrant 1. This is the circuit diagram of a type A chopper fed DC motor. The type A chopper consists of a voltage source, a switch and a freewheeling diode and in this circuit it feeds the armature of a separately excited DC motor. This RLE load indicates the equivalent circuit of the armature of the DC motor. And since it is a single quadrant chopper and it operates in quadrant 1, its voltage and current will always be positive. And since voltage and current are positive, power will be positive. That means power is always fed from source to load. And the switch S1 is kept on for a duration T on and it is kept off for a duration T off. That is T on plus T off is equal to T is the total operating time or time period of the switch S1. Now we will define another term that is duty cycle which is denoted by delta. Delta is equal to T on divided by T on plus T off or is it is equal to T on by T. Delta or duty cycle indicates for how long the switch is kept on during an operating period. Here from this equation we can see T1 is equal to delta T. So 
we can say that the switch is kept on from time t is equal to 0 to delta t and it's kept off from time t is equal to delta t to t this is the equivalent circuit of the drive when the switch is kept on that is during t on the switch is closed it is known as a duty interval and since the switch is closed the armature of the DC motor is directly connected to the source so armature terminal voltage VA is equal to the source voltage Vs VA equal to Vs and since the power supply is directly connected to the armature the current increases from IA1 to IA2 IA1 is the initial value and IA2 is the final value in that interval next we will discuss the freewheeling interval that is during T off the switch is kept open that means the motor is disconnected from the power supply but the current continues to flow, flow through the armature through the freewheeling diode due to the presence of the inductor in the armature winding so the armature terminal voltage is equal to zero since it is short circuited through the freewheeling diode but the armature current decreases from IA2 to IA1 because it is not fed from the source and this gives the waveform output waveforms of the chopper drive first one is the armature terminal voltage second one is the armature current and the third one is the source current armature terminal voltage is equal to Vs for the time interval 0 to delta T that is when the switch is on the armature terminal voltage is equal to V when the switch is off that is from delta T to T the switch is kept off and the armature terminal voltage is equal to 0 next we will consider the armature current waveform armature current increases from IA1 to IA2 during T on and it decreases from IA2 to IA1 during T off next is the source current source current is the same as that of armature current during T on that is source current is equal to armature current during T on and during T off source current is equal to 0 following are the control methods of delta how the duty cycle are controlled first one is time ratio control and the second one is current limit control time ratio control or pulse width control time ratio control is nothing but the ratio uh, delta is equal to T1 by T that ratio is control the ratio T1 by T is controlled by any of the following methods either by keeping T constant and T1 is varied or by varying T keeping T1 constant by any of these two methods the ratio T1 by T is controlled that is known as time ratio control and the second method is current limit control here the duty ratio is controlled by controlling the load current between certain specified minimum and maximum values 